Hi friends, in the part 1 we have seen how we have used cut copy paste using one entry wizard. Now we will use one text wizard where you can use multi line data. So more than one line data is there. So we will say line 1, then we will say line 2. Now we will come to plus 2 net dot com. Now uh, let me some add some more python kinter ok now what i can do i can just select this part cut it and paste it here now similarly i can copy this also without cutting it and paste it also we will learn all about this this is our blank template from the in on this we will add our components so we will start with l1 say label we will place it though it has no impact on our main script we'll keep a label selling some text there label and my underscore w is my parent window at line number two we have declared it now slightly bigger font i am giving i am giving ton, uh, 20 now now this is uh, a label and let's say one so definitely one text will be there text let's say i am asking name you can write anything now let us place it in the grid l1 dot grid this is the top uh, one so i'll use the first row row equal to zero then column equal to uh, you can give anything i am giving one uh, sorry i'll give first one so zero right of it i will have a text wizard so for that i have given it to column zero slightly i am giving pad x equal to two then pad y equal to ten because i am not flushing it with the left edge and by giving pad y, I am maintaining some gap from the top also, top and the next row. So, this is pad x, pad y. Now, let us place one entry or e1 or a text wizard actually. We will maintaining the e1 because in the previous, in the part 1 also, we are given the same name. So, tk dot text, this is a text and my my underscore w is my parent window then font is slightly bigger it i am giving 20 height this is the number of rows i will have i am giving it 4 now some slightly width i am giving width equal to 28 now bg equal to yellow because some prominently it will be visible so i am giving a yellow background for the text box so fine now let's just place it on our grid e1 dot grid now we'll say row equal to zero because uh, it is a, it is in the same line with the label but right of it so column will change to one instead of zero label is at zero so we are given column equal to one here i will give the column span equal to four because four buttons i will be placing below it so uh, that should be accommodated within this uh, entry box so i have given this expand expanded this to four uh, columns so let's just see once how this looks you can see it is here the name label is there and here is the my entry sorry this is my text uh, which are this is let's close this and go for our adding our buttons so first we'll add a b1 button the first button tk dot button and here my parent window i am giving my underscore w then text what text i want to write it over the button i am giving select all fine so now now the important part is command what command it will it should execute lambda because i want to write a sort i will call a function here i am selling select all this i have not defined yet i have to define i am just writing it here so select all this is what it will call but before closing it let me just give little bit of uh, font and all to this so i am saying font equal to 20 and bg equal to light green okay some color i am just giving it so this is fine this is over now let us place it on the grid b1 dot grid because it is the text the next line of our text wizard so it should be next means row 0 we have already used so we will use row sorry not no bracket row equal to 1 now it is row 1 then column equal to 1 now because why we are using 1 means we want to align it below the our text wizard what is here here it is column 1 so we want to we don't want below the label it is column 0 so you you are placing it at column 1 so b1 column 1 now pad x pad x means from the left edge 
left side I am just giving it 2 then pad y equal to 5. So, from the top means from the text wizard it should maintain a gap of 5. So, this is what is our bottom is and we have not written this function. Now, let us complete writing our 4, four means 3 more buttons are required. I am just copying this going for the next button here b2. So, let me just change this b2 here also let us go b2 fine. So, now my text now this b2 should read cut is not select all this is cut command also I will write cut select this is the name of the function which I am going to write it uh, so far not written. So, here I will give the bg as light uh, yellow you can give any color you can give hex code also. So, cut select is not declared. Now, come to the grid where it will be. It will be right of the B 1. So, we had to place it at 2 and this is not required because already we have taken care in the bottom one. So, now we have column uh, B 2 is row 1 column 2. Now, what I will do? I will copy this one only. Now, this is for my B 3 and this is for my B 4. So, this will be B 3 let me just move up here it is B 3 I am putting now cut after that will I will say copy now for that the com command will be copy select now font let it be and now what should be my color you can give anything I am giving blue light blue ok column as you know I have to move right. So, I am giving column as 3. So, B sorry here I have to mention as B 3. Now, let me change this first otherwise I will miss this B 4 now B 4. Okay. So, now here cut copy this should be give me paste fine command here I will say paste select. So, this function again I have to write it what should be my color here I am just some other color I am giving it here you can use hex code or anything. Again, here the column is I will be moving right of it. So, row 1 same row right of the button 3. So, button 4 I have given column as 4 and for this purpose here I have mentioned column span sorry. Here you can see I have mentioned for the entry column span 4. Now, let us just see how this layout looks. Uh, here it is. Before writing the functions, let us just place this our second uh, text wizard where we will be pasting our data. So, here I have just copied the above line and pasted it here. The same one I will just change it, it is make it E2 below also this one I will make it E2. Now, here instead of column my sorry row is row should be because it should be below the row 1. Buttons are in row 1, the top one is at row 0. So, this should be column 2. Now, column 1, rest of the things same. Let us just check it once how that comes up. Yeah, it is here. So, whatever we write it, now there is no functionality. We are not added. We will add the functions here. Then, this thing will be copied or pasted to the bottom text entry. We will add the function select for the select all. So, above the button B1, we will define it, define uh, select all. So, here I will write my code to select. So, first is it because this is the wizard name is E1, E1 dot tag add. So, this method I am using. Now, what I should do because it is all the uh, item selected starting from where from 1.0 it is the first row first character the one from there till end. So, now this will select it that is all but here I want I can change the color of it also let us just give a different color to the selected uh, one it normal default color is always there. So, I let us better learn that one also. So, how we can configure our own selections. This particular tag we will config. We will say which one we have to specify selection. Now, we will say background. Background should be you can give anything. Let me just see uh, green and foreground. Foreground let us give red. 
So, this is when you select it this uh, property or this style it will take care. Now, let us uh, it will let us just run it and see this much. Okay, I am just typing line line 1 here. Okay, now I am saying select all. You just see this foreground and background, this red and green it has taken because it has selected. Now, we have here it is we have configured it as background as green and foreground as red that is why. Before we move to the next function that is cut, we will declare the our global variable. So, global data because this is where we will be uh, from be different different functions inside the function will be assigning and copying the data to the clipboard. So, I have just written the name as data. Now, let us come to here and say define. Now, what is that one cut select? So, cut select. So, this function will write now. Now, here cut select first thing what we will do is we will global data. We are accessing that one sorry data. Now, this once it is there now we will say if uh, now if E 1 if it is selected selection get if this selection get is there then data equal to E 1 dot selection get. So, I will store the selected data uh, inside the uh, with the variable data, but here one thing it is a cut function. So, once it is a cut function executed I have to remove it or delete that selection. So, for that what I will do E 1 dot delete now Sel select first starting from here till last. So, this will delete the whatever is selection is there because it is a cut operation. Okay, so, that is why it I have done like that. Now, uh, select all is there. Now, what will happen is next is I will just copy this and paste it for my next function is copy select here it is at line number 27. Now, for that I will just copy the same code and change the name here. Uh, okay, Let me move up a bit here you can see copy select is there. So, I will say copy select rest everything same and this line only I will remove because when, when I am just, just copying it I need not remove the source. So, that is the one. Now, the last one is paste paste select. So, paste select is again ok let me paste it for once we will see many codes. I have just pasted the code whatever I have written here also I will change it to paste select global is data. Now, here both the things will change. So, here what I will do e e 2 what is e 2 you can see this is not e 1 e 2 is the second text box uh, text box what you are written e 2 now we are saying insert here we are inserting uh, t k dot end hmm. e n d it is at the end of it and what will uh, paste is our data data is our global data whatever is copied from the copied from the clipboard whatever is there so that we are pasting it here that's all so running this so here it is the output. Now, I am saying line 1, now line 2, welcome to plus 2 net and now I can select all. I can do because my green and red font and because of my config here at the function we had discussed, I am cutting this and pasting it here. Say I can add something more also, more here, now I will select all copy and paste it here. So, this is that is all we have in the part 1 we have discussed about a how um, entry wizard can be used in this cut copy paste. Now, it is the text wizard. In the next we will try to integrate it with, with a menu also. 
so i'll just uh, you try this one this entire source code is available the link is at the description and you have any doubt suggestion questions anything you got stuck up in anywhere any error message use the comment section below we'll accordingly we'll change our script also and i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we uh, post new new videos we frequently do that please share this with your friends and thank you for watching